I can't believe people are still creating video captions manually. I've seen so many creators transcribing from the audio they hear from the video in the regular text field. Even the most popular YouTube tutorials on how to make social media captions show you how to do it manually and sacrifice hundreds of hours for something that can be done in literal seconds. Now, I am sure you are editing your videos on one of these five tools and I will show you the best way to do it on each one of them. So the most important difference between these tools is that only two of them have automatic captions, Adobe Premiere Pro and CapCut. But you will still see people doing it manually on both of them. It's crazy. I will first show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro, then how to do it in CapCut. And for all the other tools, I will show you a third party solution. But no matter what editing tool you're using, make sure you watch all of them because you might switch editing tool after seeing how much time you can save. Okay, now let's start with Adobe Premiere Pro. After you import your video, you can either go to window and scroll to text and open your transcription window, or you can find a caption tab in the dock. Now you click on transcribe sequence, but please keep in mind that it only works when you're connected to the internet. And it only works if you're connected to the Adobe cloud. So don't out yourself in the comments by saying it doesn't work for you. You. In this window, you can pick which audio tracks should be transcribed, in which language, and if it's a dialogue, it can even distinguish the speakers. Perfect, now you have your audio as text, but I would recommend proofreading it immediately. It is insanely accurate, but it always gets our brand name wrong, so I always make sure names and brand names are spelled correctly. You then click on create captions and you can pre-select the styling and the formatting. For social media content, I always go for rather short text sections. You then get a structured list of the captions. You can either edit them here again or just close the window and find the captions in this new and isolated subtitle row. Now, if you want to learn how to create the right styling for social media, especially this TikTok style, I will link another video I made, but it will be too much for this video. Make sure you check that video out because I'm giving away some free assets for editing. So this is how you create automatic captions in Premiere Pro. All right, now let's jump into CapCut. Most people only know CapCut as the mobile editing app because most TikTok creators use it, but there is actually a web version and even a desktop software you can download directly on CapCut.com. Now I tried doing it in the desktop app by clicking on text and then on auto captions and it works great in English but not in other languages. This might change in the future but for now only English is transcribed perfectly. Funnily enough on the web version there are more language options but not as many as there are on the mobile version. So on your phone you click on text, auto captions and here you have a huge selection of languages and the results are also very precise. Once again, I won't go into the styling of it, but if you want to see more videos about CapCut, leave a comment and let me know what you wanna see. Okay, now for all the other editing tools, you have to use a third party solution. But before we start with the other ones, I would even consider CapCut as one because you can finish all your projects in Final Cut, uh, DaVinci Resolve or whatever tool you're using and put it into the free app that is CapCut and just use it for the captions. Apart from CapCut, there are two dominant third party solutions, Descript and Captions. Descript is also available as a desktop app with automatic transcription and fantastic styling capabilities. It even has an insane feature where if you change the text, the AI will actually change your audio, so your voice, which is pretty wild if you ask me. There is a free plan with very limited functionalities and some subscription plans. So if you want to check it out and if you want to check any of the tools out, I will leave all of them in the description. The last tool I will show you is a mobile app called Captions. As of today, they don't have a desktop version, but that might change in the future. The mobile app is insanely powerful. So you just import the video and just with a few clicks it generates and animates your captions to make them look clean and catchy. Captions has no free plan, so uh, in my country, the cheapest monthly plan is eight euros per month. Okay, now if you want to go for the cheapest option, I would recommend either switching completely to CapCut or just doing the captions in CapCut. But if you want to have the most all-in-one solution and only use one tool in your whole workflow, I would recommend Adobe Premiere Pro. And don't underestimate the power of styling and animating within Adobe Premiere Pro. You can have results like this very automatically. If you want to learn how to do it, check this video out.